Just like the Apu trilogy, Floating Weeds is one of those movies that um, pops up on a lot of top ten lists uh, by very uh, notable critics. And yet, I had never heard of it until I started doing uh, these great movies. Luna hasn't heard of it either. Um, but unlike the Apu trilogy, I wasn't a huge fan. Um, it might just be me. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of um, the Japanese filmmaking like from that era. Like, the Kurosawa films I've seen were alright to me, um, and I, this is the first I've seen of uh, Ozu, who's the this director. Um, and it was, it was fine. I understand why it's on these lists, it just didn't appeal to me. Um, it tells the story of a man who runs an acting troupe. Um, they go to a small town where he has a son from a past mistress, and his current mistress, who's one of the actresses, finds out about it. So she sends a younger actress to seduce his son, to get back at him um, for, I guess, cheating on her you know, 20 years ago. Um, but the younger actress and the son fall in love, and the troupe breaks up, and uh, the man and his mistress just go on to the next city, basically. Um, there were, there were some, some pluses. I did enjoy the score. It felt like the, the main theme of the movie felt like it could be the background music for a town in a Legend of Zelda game. It was just like kind of like cheerful, a little bit repetitive, but not repetitive to the point that it would drive you nuts. Um, but enough that it, it, it was good background music. Like I liked the score. The score was great. And um, there were some scenes with some of the younger actors... Um, when they first get to the town, uh, a few of the actors go around and they're handing out flyers to get people to come to their show. And one of them is just looking for the cute girls. Um, and he's just going from shop to shop and when he sees a pretty lady, he hands her a flyer. And then at opening night of the show, they're peeking through the curtain at intermission looking for the cute girls to see if they showed up. And I'd be lying if I said that we didn't do the same thing when I used to go on tour with my college acapella group. We would get to the town, uh, rehearse a little bit, eat, do the show, and at intermission during the show, we'd sit down, did you see that girl in row three? Yeah, that girl in row three. Um, this is before I met Cody. Mom. Um, so like, I, I, I definitely related to those guys a little bit, but that, that was like kind of like a B or C story in the movie, and that, that wasn't the focus. Um, and that was what interested me. It was like, I wanted to see what life was like for these traveling actors. Being an actor myself, and having done a little bit of traveling in college, like on tour with the group. So it was like, that's what I wanted to see, but it was not, the movie wasn't about that. And I understand that. The movie was about this, uh, this family relationship, and keeping the secrets, and, and what do we tell, when do we tell it, that kind of thing. Uh, which was just less relatable to me. Um, unless... Dad, if you're watching this, you have something you need to tell me. Um, uh, like the one, I, so yeah, that's, I guess that's my thought. The other thing that I wanted to say is, um, the camera work. There is not one single moving shot in this movie. Every single shot is static. And that's not a problem, per se. Um, it's just, I, I don't mind moving cameras. I know that's not necessary, and that seems to be the point that Ozzy was trying to make, is that you don't need a moving camera to have a moving scene, and that, that's true. You don't, but I don't mind a little bit of variety, you know? It's seeing the same still frames um, for a two-hour film, just, it gets old to me. Maybe that's just my generation, um, and I want a lot of flashing lights and loud noises, but it's... It was just, it was still. It was very still. Um, and, I, and it makes sense. It's in a still, small town and that kind of thing. Just, it just didn't appeal to my senses, I guess. Um, to, to be fair, though, I was expecting to like it less than I did. Um, I know it sounds like Luna just knocked over a lamp. Ugh. Dummy. I know it sounds like I'm being very negative about this movie, um, but I thought I would be more negative. 
when I first read the synopsis, I was like, this is not, I'm gonna not like this. And I found myself enjoying scenes. Like, it was, it wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I was expecting to not like it at all. And it just wasn't the best. You know what I mean? Like, middle ground for me. Uh, so that's all I gotta say about floating weeds. Tomorrow, I'm looking at a uh, documentary, uh, speaking of Luna being a monster today, a documentary about pet cemeteries called Gates of Heaven. Um, so I've been looking forward to this one for a while, and I'll talk about it tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you tomorrow.